I've been waiting to say this for three years. There's now full Apple Silicon support for Fusion 360. Let's talk about it. Back in 2020, Apple put out a new line of processors for their Mac computers. This was a pretty big performance boost for most apps, especially things like Final Cut or anything media intensive. And for anything else, there was Rosetta 2, which basically let all their software be able to run, but it was much slower than it could be. The full Apple Silicon support from Fusion 360, we're now able to see how fast these computers can be. And let me tell you, it's pretty good. When the M1 Pro laptop came out, I made a video in November 2021 that included a link to a benchmark test. And that way we could test different types of computers, whether it was a Mac, a tower, a PC, a Dell, whatever it is. And that allows a pretty baseline fair test because you're doing the same kind of thing in both. So now today we can take that same benchmark test and compare Rosetta 2 Max versus the full Apple Silicon support version. So I've done that for my computers. My Mac Studio M1 Max, which is a mouthful, is definitely the most performant computer I have. I edit videos on it. It's my daily driver for cam and all things CAD. It's a beast and it surely did really well in its upgrade from Rosetta 2. My benchmark shows a 38% improvement over Rosetta 2. I also have the same M1 Pro MacBook Pro that I had when I first did this benchmark test and I've retested with the current version of Rosetta 2 and then the full support Apple Silicon native version and we see a 37% increase in performance on this computer. I'm recording this just before the release of the full silicone version. I have some pretty striking improvements. The Mac Studio is now ranked fifth, whereas it used to be ranked 60th. There may be some quirkiness there. And then the 2021 MacBook Pro M1 Pro is now ranked eighth and before it was ranked 39th. And keep in mind, I'm not really accounting for the rendering test. It's kind of a flawed test. There's no real way to set a rendering window to the right size. So I'm just using the manufacturing data. The Fusion 360 team has reported that through internal testing, they've seen two big improvement areas in compute performance and battery life, both of which are big deals. When it comes to compute speeds, modeling and assembly and modeling tasks, they are generally 30% faster on Apple Silicon compared to Rosetta 2 or Intel based computers. The other major benefit here though, is that Fusion 360 now consumes almost 50% less battery power. That would be on like a mobile computer, like a laptop. To test this, they ran 5,300 test cases 100 times on a machine at 100% battery. By the end of the test, Fusion 360 running on Intel Rosetta 2 consumes 77% of battery life, leaving the computer at only 23% battery. On Apple Silicon, Fusion 360 only consumed 40% of battery life, resulting in 60% of battery still left for use. You might be wondering, should I go buy a new Mac? Uh, honestly, at this point, probably yes. Like these 30 to 40% improvements over Rosetta is a pretty big jump. And that puts these computers into the best computers that we've seen in any of these benchmark tests, including pretty high-end PCs. So if you like a Mac and you do work like this and you need to use Fusion, or do any type of content editing, video, photo. They're really phenomenal machines for that too. So uh, there's really nothing holding you back. And um, I would recommend to at least get into the M1 computers. The M2s aren't a huge leap from the M2 at this point. I hope this is interesting. I hope it was helpful. Go try out the benchmark test and uh, I'll see you in the next one.